Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. Today, we're going to show you how to remove the front brake calipers on a BMW F30 335. Now, although today we're working on this N55 335, this process is the same if you have a 328, a 320. Actually, it works on most cars on the market. As you'd expect, the first part of the process is we need to get the front of the car off the ground. To do this, we're just using a basic floor jack and some jack stands. Now, if you haven't done this on your F30 yet, we have a video above just for you. So you may be thinking, why would I want to take off my brake calipers in the first place? Well, A, if you have one seized up or you have a problem, you might need to replace it. B, maybe you want to do a big brake conversion. Or C, maybe you want to paint them or powder coat them. As you can see over here, my brake calipers look gross. But thanks to our friends at Eastwood, we're bringing you a mini series on how you can powder coat your calipers from home. So be sure to stay tuned as we clean up these calipers. We powder coat them and then reinstall them. Now, if you've never removed your brake caliper before, it's actually a lot easier than it sounds. Basically, there are two 18 millimeter bolts that hold it in place. Then you're going to need a 14 millimeter to remove the brake line. Now, brake flow is some nasty stuff, so you always wanna make sure that you have some kind of pan under your brake when you're doing this process. Now, as you'd imagine, you never wanna just remove your brake line because all of your fluid would leak out and you never wanna run the system dry. Now, one of the popular methods to make sure that your brake fluid isn't going to pop out is to get some vice grips and you clamp it down really hard on your brake line. Now, some people have used that method successfully for years, but the problem is sometimes you can compromise the brake line. So what's a safe alternative? Well, over at Eastwood, they have these steel line stoppers. And here's a look at what these look like. So basically what you do is you get the brake line, you put it in here, and then this little rubber stopper is gonna prevent all the fluid from leaking out. Now, because these lines come in different shapes and sizes, you have an option for a 5 16th, a 3 8 a half inch, and also a banjo. Now what's unique about a banjo is the brake line is going to be open on both sides and it's gonna have a little hole in the middle. So what you do is you take the banjo fitting and this has two rubber stoppers. So what you can do is insert it just like that and it's gonna stop it up. All right, grab your 18 millimeter. We are going to remove the two 18 millimeter bolts in the back of the caliper. Before you do that, it's a good idea to spray with something like PB Blaster ahead of time. So here's where those 18 millimeters are. So if you look behind your caliper, Right where I'm shining my light right there, there's one. And then right there in the center of the screen, that's number two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these two bolts and then what we're going to do is we are going to come back and remove the 14 millimeter brake line. Now the reason that we're not removing the brake line first is you don't wanna twist the line too much because it could damage it. So what we're going to do, we'll take the caliper off and then we'll kind of just spin it around, make sure everything comes off nice and we'll be good to go. Now when you're doing this, one thing that I didn't mention on the other side is I like to just loosen the brake line just so when you have it in your hand, it's a lot easier to remove. You just give it a little twist so there's not actually any fluid leaking out or anything, but it just makes it a little bit easier. All right, so take your 14 millimeter. And just loosen this up. All right, so we'll get our 18 millimeter. So even with spraying, it can still be Pretty tight, as you just heard. Now I loosened it up, but I haven't taken it all the way out. These suckers are tight. Loosen that up. Now one quick thing I wanna note is I've been working on the passenger side. If you're starting on your driver's side, don't forget to remove your brake sensor. Your brake sensor is this one right here. So to get this off, what you wanna do is just open this little box and there's a sensor right here. You pull this out, you can pull it out from its clips, just like that. This sensor has a little tab on it. You just press the tab and slide that out. Continue to unroute this, just like that, and then you'll be good to go and that'll prevent you from damaging your brake wear sensor. At this point, you can take those 18 millimeter bolts out. Remember that once you remove these, there's nothing supporting it, except for the brake line. You don't want any pressure on the brake line. All right, there's one, and we'll get that one on the bottom. Okay, and there's number two. All right, now you wanna make sure that you have your tray ready. You wanna make sure you have your 14 millimeter and your brake line stopper. At this point, you just kind of rock this off here. Okay, just go slow. Brake pads look good. All right. 
just like that. And I hope you're not wearing your favorite pair of pants. Okay. We have it loose. So now we can just rotate this off. And again, by doing this, the threads are rotating and the brake line's not, so we're not gonna damage our brake line. Okay, I'm just gonna put my brake caliper in there. So as you can see, it's a, it's a slow drip, nothing too crazy. And then with this, put it just like that, and that's gonna stop it from dripping. Now as far as what size is concerned, I actually use two different sizes. On this side, I used the 3 8 and what I did is I put it on the rubber um, right above the metal here, and it works great. And on this side, I used the half, and you can see I just put it around right there. So the one is up here, and the one is down there. But the cool thing about this kit is you can do both of your fronts at the same time. And here's Big and Ugly. Rembo. And that's how easy it is to remove a front brake caliper off of an F30. Now, if you're doing this project on your car, be sure to check the link in the description. We'll give you all the tools that you need. And again, thanks so much to Eastwood for making these videos possible. Again, this is Brian, and thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports. As always, be sure to give us a like, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, so you can watch us turn these from ugly to awesome. If you haven't done so already, be sure to check us out at keysmotorsports.com for all your BMW retrofit and performance needs. Check us out at Pro Automotion for anything aesthetics, carbon fiber, and sport conversions. And stay tuned for more. Again, this is Brian. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.